All right, guys, this is the deal. A claim was made, uh, and if it's correct, it's gonna have some pretty big ramifications. So we're gonna do a test. I'm gonna see if it's true or not, and I figure if I'm doing a test, this is a great opportunity to show you how to do a transition liner uh, on a patch, on a packer, three to four, four to six, doesn't matter. How to do it right without worrying about the, the smaller diameter not opening up properly. So let's go inside of our storage room and get started. All right, folks, uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Yaakov Prupis from the Israel Trenchless Academy. And for those of you who do know, welcome back to the show. We're gonna put on some plastic on this table and get started. So buckle up and enjoy the ride. All right, now that we're set up, let's talk about the secrets to a successful transition patch uh, from four to, uh, four to six, three to four, whatever it may be. Let's first talk about what can go wrong. What can go wrong is that in the smaller diameter, perhaps the ties won't pop and we won't have proper expansion in the smaller diameter and that will be catastrophic because then our, our patch is not gonna be uh, up against the host pipe and it's gonna leak, it's gonna cause blockages and failure of the repair. Um, what else can occur is if we don't wet out our liner material properly, uh, it's gonna leak or let roots come in and also that's not gonna be good. So in order to uh, ensure success, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up our packer, especially if it's a cold day. I noticed that if you get, you exercise your packer beforehand, uh, especially for repair like this, where it's transitional uh, repair, I wanna uh, inflate my packer in the larger diameter pipe. So we're gonna put the packer in a six inch pipe over here and we're gonna inflate it and we're gonna keep it inflated for a little bit while we're doing our preparation work. That's gonna give it some uh, memory. So when we go from the four to six, it's gonna properly inflate in that six inch pipe to give us uh, the best results. Now as we inflate, there's a couple things we're checking. We're making sure there's no leaks, that our packer is working properly. It's not gonna pop on us during the repair. Obviously it could still happen, but we wanna try to mitigate that. So we're gonna make sure there's no leaks and looks like we're golden over here. So we're gonna measure out our liner we're gonna measure out the resin that we have to pour, and then we're gonna wrap our packer and get it done. What I like to do is I don't like using the ties for the smaller uh, diameter pipe. So if we're doing a three by four, if I put ties on, there's a slight chance that they're not gonna pop, right? So I'm gonna use rubber bands. I'm gonna use rubber bands for the four inch part, and for the six inch part, I've never had a problem with that, I'm just gonna use ties on there. Ties on the six inch, and my rubber bands on the four inch. You can use rubber bands on the six inch as well. Um, I just have never done it yet, so. I'm gonna do it the way I've been doing it. And at some point, maybe I'll transition to rubber bands for six, but right now, this is how we're gonna do it. All right, so we're all prepped. Now I have to destroy my clothing until I start wearing this apron. And it's a godsend. So I really, really recommend anyone doing pipe patching to wear some kind of protecting clothing. Because it's kind of ridiculous to just get silicone all splattered on you. Got extra gloves, always very important to have extra gloves. All right, I explained in a previous video that we ha really have to make sure we get proper impregnation. In this uh, three millimeter glass liner, we don't have any inner, uh, any inner uh, PU uh, plastic in here, yeah? So we're just gonna go like this. We're gonna go spread it out all over the top. Now you can't just, you could try to push it in. It's gonna take a really long time to do that. So I put a little bit on the inside and I'm gonna put it all over the top. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do that method where we roll and squeeze with our fingers. Now, last time we used a two millimeter. So this might take a little bit more effort to do, but it's the same method and it will work just the same. So we're gonna roll that and squeeze it. We're gonna open that back up, go to the other side. We're gonna roll and squeeze. And we're gonna look inside to make sure that's good. I still see some white in there, so I'm gonna throw some more silicone inside. I throw some more silicone on the top. You see, use up what we have over here. Okay, gonna throw it in on the, the top over there. A little bit more on this side as well. Okay, and one more time, we're gonna do that roll and squeeze and we should be good to go. Squeeze really hard to really get that in there. 
So you squeeze that in, then go the other side. You gotta get it through all the three millimeter of this uh, glass liner. Very important to get it fully, fully saturated because as I said, this is now three millimeters, so it's gonna give a little bit more, and give a few more, press that in like that, and flip over and then we'll be done. And we're gonna look inside to make sure that it's fully saturated because you really, really gotta make sure that it's fully saturated where it is. Make sure the ends over here are fully saturated, that's very, very important. Okay, so we're looking golden. All right, so we're gonna take this off and we're gonna throw this on our packer. All right, so the top part's gonna be our four inch, the bottom part's the six inch. So for the four inch, we said we're gonna wanna use the rubber bands, all right? And then for the six inch, we're gonna use the ties. So let's start with the ties over here. Get that on, tie that up. So fold it over and give that one two half turn. This side as well. And then we're gonna put our rubber bands on. Okay, we're gonna cut those down to where we need them to be. Once again, if you have a second person, it's gonna be nice, nice and neat. So there we go, we're nice and in position. I'm gonna take these gloves off, I'm gonna put new gloves on, and we're gonna, this time, bring it over somewhere else to make it much easier for us. All right, we're gonna throw that in. Now generally we're gonna inflate this a little bit first. Generally we're gonna inflate that a little bit first so the, uh, the rubber bands are on there nice and tight. All right, but today we're just gonna keep it in there like that. Keep it in position, okay? And we're going to attach and inflate. Make sure we don't get anything all over the place. Clean hands always. Very important to have clean hands. All right, so now that we're in position, all right, we have our transition right here, which we wanna fill the gap. We're gonna start All right, so a few important things. Number one, as I put it to the maximum pressure, obviously you wanna have it, the, the packers have maximum pressure. Here's 2.5 bar, that's what we're doing. Um, as you can see, it packed out very nicely, even though they're pretty close to each other. Packed out, oozing out, so we're not that cure. Uh, a, a little safety thing, you know, balloons could pop, things could happen, so always be careful. Uh, don't like go right in front don't go like right in front or behind it. You know, something happens, especially if you're in a manhole. Um, always keep in, keep in mind that these things can blow, something can happen, so keep a safe distance. Don't put your eyes right up against the, uh, the hole there, look inside. If you wanna look inside the pipe, put a camera, something like that. Don't put your eyes in there. Um, so we're gonna come back after it's cured and we're gonna see how it came out. All right guys, so we've fully cured. So we're now gonna take out the pressure and pull this out. And we're gonna show you what a beautiful repair it is. All right, I want you guys to see how absolutely beautiful this repair came out. Look inside there, look at that transition. It packed out right over here. It packed out right to the... It packed out just beautifully. Pressed up against the pipe. We're gonna look over here. You can see that transition from the four inch to the six inch, right? It already 
This is a beautiful transition from one to the next. I'm gonna cut away a little bit more of the pipe so you can see a little bit better. The four inch also packed out beautifully right up against the pipe. Look at that transition, absolutely beautiful transition. That indentation is right over here. Absolutely beautiful impregnation. Totally green on the inside. That's how it should be looking at when you're done. Absolutely beautiful. That's how you get your uh, transition patches, guys. Uh, I had alluded to it in the beginning of the video and um, someone had actually laid the claim and showed a video demonstrating that these glass liners are good for uh, repairing broken pipes and establishing flow to prevent clogs, but they're not gonna stop infiltration water coming in or exfiltration water coming out. And that's, that's pretty bad. I mean, <laughs> we're, we're putting these in because we want the pipe to be hermetically sealed. If we're putting glass liners in and they're not hermetically sealed, we got a problem. So uh, that, I found that troubling and I, had a, I, I found about that today and I'm like, I gotta test this out. Or maybe it was last night. I gotta test this out for myself. Um, I'm assuming that the impregnation of the liner was just bad. Didn't put enough silicate, didn't really make sure that it went through the three millimeters evenly, and there must have been some dry spots. That's the only way that it's leaking out. So I'm putting a, a cap on the bottom, up bottom of this pipe. I'm gonna fill with water the same way he did, and I'm gonna see if it holds uh, the water or if some water flows out. If the water flows out, we gotta rethink our process. All right, guys, so let's go upstairs and take a look. Hey, guys. All right, so I filled this thing up with water. You can see the water level is right there. I'm keeping an eye on the water level. And I'm also looking for any visuals of any water coming out of this transition area over here, any of the holes over there, anything here. And everything's bone dry. Absolutely bone dry. Uh, so we got proper saturation of the, of the liner when we did the patch. Um, so once again, yep, yeah, these are definitely waterproof, hermetically sealed when done properly. Um, I'll do it again. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll put it in, uh, I'll put it outside uh, for about an hour with water in it just to double check. But um, yeah, when you do impregnate them properly, wait the proper cure time, everything should be golden. All right, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Give it a uh, thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, see some more awesome stuff. And I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.